Here is the Compact R4000 uh, laptop computer, and I bought this uh, about two years ago, brand new from Compact, um, and it has the 2.2 gigahertz processor, one gigabyte of RAM, the AMD Athlon 64-bit processor, and it has Windows XP Home Edition 2002. And most people know how to use the Windows XP environment, so I'm going to restart the computer and run Ubuntu Linux to just kind of show you what the computer is capable of doing. So I'm going to log out of Windows and show you kind of how this computer works. So, and then um, this auction will include the um, Light On DVD external drive. Um, it does burn DVDs, um, reads DVDs. Um, and it's capable of doing it up to 8x for DVD and I believe it's 24x on the CD and um, CDRW is I believe is 10x and I always run at about half the speed to make sure I get a good quality burn so and um, it works perfectly I've used it on other computers um, but mainly on this one because this computer uh, does not have the built-in um, DVD writer so but here's the bootloader you can choose at the very top is Ubuntu Linux uh, Ubuntu recovery mode, here's a memory test option, and other operating systems is Windows XP. So at the very top, we'll go ahead and start the um, Linux part of this computer. And as stated before, um, about a third of the hard drive is given to Ubuntu Linux, and about the other two thirds is given to Windows XP. And this is just kind of some software that I like to run on the computer because it's kind of cool and eye appealing, and um, I've grown to like it a lot. So. And this is a good test system if somebody would love to uh, work with this. I've been able to put uh, Ubuntu 7.04 um, along with the Barrel project on here. And I'm going to include a short tutorial on how to install this um, just in case you were to, um, let's say, redo your computer. If you just wanted to flush everything, um, make it clean, I will show you a way that you can put this back on here. Um, to make it look like, kind of like this, but um, I've spent a lot of time customizing, so I will leave it like this for now, and if you want me to make it as if it was like it was supposed to come, then I can do that. So, so anyway, for the first option, I'll log into the Apple user. And this desktop kind of looks like a uh, Mac OS X, just kind of imitating it. And as it loads the desktop, you will see it will look more and more familiar, like a Mac OS X. And it should load all the drivers and everything. And it does 99% of the time. There are one time that I've logged in out of the 100 times that it hasn't loaded up everything. But I will show you how to load it just in case it doesn't. So um, right here you can see that there's barrel options. Um, this is kind of the extra stuff. And um, go ahead and do the barrel manager. And this um, is the dock down here. As you can see here, I've got other things um, loaded here. So we'll go ahead and open up Firefox. And we'll open up a home folder at the same time. And I'm also going to try to start a movie to just kind of show you the performance that it does have. So, let's see here, open, and I've got Zoolander, the movie, so I'm just going to play this while I'm kind of messing around with everything else. So you can move that off to the side, say for instance you wanted to go to a different desktop, there you go, just slide it right on over, um, you can hit Control alt with the uh, clicker, just click down with the mouse, and you can kind of switch back and forth between desktops. So you can put a picture on the top, a picture on the bottom, um, just different things that you can customize if you were to read into how to use the Barrel project. So, and there's a website that explains up how all of this, uh, how the different settings work. So, and as you can see here, you can kind of move it around. Looks kind of wobbly, kind of eye appealing. Um, so we can minimize it, and it kind of swoops up in there minimize that and we'll go back to our movie that we were watching so we'll go ahead and skip ahead and you can kind of like see that this works pretty kind of interesting so so we'll just move it right on over here 
I don't like it on this one, so I'll move it back over. We get back so, up. Move this one over here. And then I'll move I'm this one over here. And then go back and do the little me. preview option. So, and I can watch the movie at the same time looking at what I'm looking at on the internet. And click on that. And you can always um, hold down the super key and kind of zoom in. And just kind of see if there's something you can't read, you can always zoom in on it. So, just some couple options that this offers. So. And you can always use other things like a calculator. So, and then it just kind of loads up everything. So, and then let's see here, you can log out. Let's see here. But there's one option you have. Uh, there's one thing that you have to run before you can log in as a different user. So I'm going to do that real quick. run that log out log out and I'll show you the customized one the one that's uh, more eye appealing to me and it basically looks the same the only difference that I've made is it kind of darkish in a black color and uh, well, we have to load the barrel manager. And once that's loaded, all you have to do is you can see here that I can do kind of like cool kind of stuff like that. Run a calculator, and then uh, if I don't want it, it just burns away. So just kind of some cool options that you can mess with. So if you're an intermediate user, you should be able to know how to use most of this stuff it, it, with a Linux computer anyway. So just tons of different things that you can run. Um, and it's got some games on here you can always load so and that's basically what comes along with this computer and um, if you have any questions you can always send me an email so but, and uh, good luck on the bidding